Oh, oh, what's going on? Let's, come on, you got a question? You, 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 what? Better be than that. Oh, see? Kid is here to cause confusion. This is not the devil, people. You understand? God said he had nothing. She's trying, she trying to take the word away from what you're getting right now. Read that. What's your name, sis? Kiera. Kiera. Let me ask y'all a question. Y'all go to church? Yeah, I go to the church. You go to church, right? So let me ask y'all a question. Do they teach you how many gates to the kingdom of heaven? Huh? You never was taught how many gates there were? How about you? How many uh, gates they taught you it was? I thought it was just one. One? You said one. They taught you it was one, right? And you too. I'm pretty sure they taught you it was one. But we're going to find out today. How many gates are there and who they're for? Give me that. Revelation. Revelation chapter 21 verse 12. It had a wall great and high. This is talking about the kingdom of heaven, which is for us. We just say it had a, what? Read it again. It had a wall great and high uh -huh. and had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. How many gates? You hear that? How many gates does it have? 12 gates. No, one gate. 12 gates. No, two gates. 12 gates. It had 12 gates. And guess who those 12 gates are for? Read on. And at the gates, 12 angels and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the kingdom of heaven got 12 gates for the 12 tribes for the children of Israel. That's so if right. you ain't part of the 12 tribes, guess what? Uh, we said Patricia, right? Guess what, Patricia? If they're not a part of the 12 tribes, if they're not part of these 12 tribes, is the kingdom for them? Exactly. Read that last part again. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So guess what? Christ only came for the children of Israel. We're going to read that too. Give me Matthew 15, verse 24. Because they say, oh, when Christ came, he died for the whole world. He came for to die for everybody. That's not true. That's stuff you learn in Christianity. That's stuff you learn in this man doctrine. But guess what? The Most High sent his prophets out here to tell you the truth. That saved the Lord. It's not verse 22. The book. we going to prove that Christ ain't came for nobody but the children. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. So it said a woman of Canaan came to Christ and, had, and, and, and said, hey, you know, have mercy on her because her daughter is vexed with a devil. But let's see what Christ answered this woman. Watch this. But he answered her not a word. But he did what? He answered her not a word. So Patricia, why do you think Christ didn't answer her? Why do you think he didn't answer her? I don't know. Because he wasn't, she wasn't of the 12 tribes. She was a woman of Canaan. So Christ said, I ain't got to pay no attention. That's a dog to me. I ain't going to pay no attention to her. But guess what he, Guess what else he said? She, she, was, she was a woman of another nation. She was another the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, 
Send her away. And the, and the disciples say, send her away. Send her away. Why? Because she's not of the nation of Israel. So that's proving Christ didn't come for everybody. That's you understand? It said, the disciples say, man, send this dog on away from us, man. Read on. For she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. God said he was only sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's and that right. is us. Because guess what? We the lost sheep. Because we don't right. know who we are. That's we run right. around here talking about we black. We Afro-American. African-American and so forth. Names that the, our oppressors gave us. Christ said he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Only can give me Jeremiah 15 and 6. Huh? But then God made everybody. He did make uh, we gonna get that too. Get uh uh second address um six six and fifty-five. Not at fifty-three. Upon the sixth day, thou thou gavest commandments unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. And thi and after these, Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Of him came we all. So we all come from Adam, right? Adam was the first being, right? He said we all come from Adam, we. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. But and then it says, even though all people come from Adam, he said, guess what? A people also whom you have chosen. You understand? So it's all people didn't come from Adam, but it said, these people you chosen too. So God got a chosen set of people, even though he created all people. Like, you got a favorite color? Do you have a favorite color? Do you have a favorite pair of shoes? Yeah. You got a favorite pair of shoes, right? But I'm pretty sure you got more than one pair of shoes, yeah. right? So that's your preference to have that as your favorite shoe, right? So God has a preference too. He, even though he created all people, he got a preference for the people he chose. You understand? Read on. All this have I spoken before thee, O oh, oh Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. This whole world was created for our sake. That's we right. are supposed to be ruling right now, but guess what? We're not because we broke God's commandments. Right. But now we're coming back and we're realizing who we are and we must repent and keep God's laws. Then the Christ going to come back and put us in rulership where we belong with him and the Father. Right. You understand? Because the world, right. this... Everything, the trees here because you here. The right. moon, the sun, the stars, all that's here because we here, you here. That's how special you are. That's right. right. Read. As for the other people. Now, this your, this your, this your answer. This your answer. Patricia, 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 listen. It says, as for the other people, because you said God created the other people, right? Yeah. Now we going into the other people. These are the other people outside the chosen people, which is the 12. Now watch what you say about the outside people. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. Because the other people, they also come of Adam. But let's see what he say about them. Thou hast said, they are nothing. They, no, they somebody. They are nothing. No, they great people on the earth. They are nothing. No, they the ruling class. What the Bible say? They are nothing. God said the other nations are nothing. So guess what? They are nothing to us. That's if they right. nothing to our God, guess what? They don't mean nothing to us. So you are the great people on the earth. God said the other people, don't worry about them. Because they, if they ain't a part of this 12, God said they nothing. Yeah. And Isaiah, what's that? In Isaiah 40, 17, what is it? Oh, 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 what's going on? Let's, come on, you got a question? You, 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 what? Come on, come on, read that. Finish reading that. Finish reading that. Be, oh, see? Be, but be like unto spittle. But God said they be like unto spittle. Like, like something you spit out your mouth. Spittle, God said there's nothing. You understand? You see her? She didn't see the car confusion. This is not the devil, people. You understand? God said there's nothing. She's trying, she trying to take the word away from what you're getting right now. Read that. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So you got a, a bunch of water, and little water fall out, you ain't gonna care about that water. That's what God think about them. You understand? Read that. Read. And now, O oh Lord, behold these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing. And God said these heathens, which are reputed as nothing, try to come and dictate where we can speak and where we can't speak. We are the prophets 
by the Most High God, and we're going to bring you the truth, thus saith the Lord. And no one is going to run us off from preaching God's word. That's you right. understand? Amen. Don't pay no mind to that. That's just the devil trying to take you away from the word. Amen. Read it. Have begun to be lords over us. So these people that are created nothing, God, you see, these have become to be lords over us. Why are they ruling over us right now? If the world be created for us, why are they ruling over us right now? Come on. Read. And to devour us. And to devour us. Read. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, uh -huh. thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, uh -huh. are given into their hands. And we are given into these people's hands. We are enslaved to them right now. Read on. If the world now be made for our sakes, so Ezra's asking, if the world be made for our sakes, right? Read on. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? Why ain't we ruling the world right now? If the world be made for our sakes, why ain't we ruling? Because you know why we ain't ruling? Because we broke God's law, statutes, and commandments. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time.